Now, how can we apply uh, the pressure formula P equal to F by A in real cases? See the example here. A 20 kg mass is on the table. The table surface has length 10 centimeters and width 2 centimeters. And if I ask the question that, what is the pressure applied by applied by 20 kg mass on this table? Yes, start with the formula P equal to F by a force per unit area. But this force is nothing but weight of the block. So weight formula is M into G by A. So mass is 20 kg, G is 10 and area length into breadth 10 into 2, 20 centimeter square. Remember it's a centimeter square. You need to convert into meter square. So 1 centimeter to how many meters? 1 by 100 meters. So therefore uh, 1 by 100 square. Once you can take the, con the conversion, see, area is length into breadth, 10 into 2, 20. Centimeter, centimeter, centimeter square, 1 centimeter equal to 1 by 100 meter, so therefore 1 by 100 square. So, what you get, 20, 20 cancel, 10 by 1 by 100 square goes in numerator, it will become 100 square. So, 1 followed by 5 zeros five zeros pascals. So this is what the pressure applied by 20 kg mass on the table, one lakh pascals. As I told you earlier, the pressure you can experience in fluids also. Fluid means which have flow property. Gases can flow, liquids can flow. So fluids are nothing but liquids and gases. When you're swimming, when you're swimming, before swim, if you jump on into the swimming pool of water, you feel that some force hit on your stomach or hit on your body, even though nothing is there, only water you have. So that force is nothing but the pressure by the liquid. Suppose you are cycling a bicycle in the fine evening and huge wind blowing towards you. And you feel that even though you are cycling with a very high, very greater strength, but cycle is not moving in the forward direction with the speed what you're expecting, because the wind force applied on you. So wind pressure, air pressure, balloons. If you inflate the balloon, the balloon what do you call it? Uh, expand, increase its size, and when you press the balloon. You feel that from internal day some other force is acting on your fingers. It's a pressure. So we can experience this pressure in liquids and gases also. Especially in atmosphere, atmosphere is nothing but filled with air. Air is also having pressure. And this pressure is called atmospheric pressure. Atmospheric pressure. And its value is given by 1.03 into 10 power 5 pascals. This is the value of atmospheric pressure. Of course, we don't have much discussion in this chapter. In higher class, we discuss more about atmospheric pressure and other pressures. But here, my intention is to tell you the importance of this number. Atmospheric pressure 1.03 into 10 power 5, pa 5 pascals. So that means 1.03 into 10 power 5 newton per meter square. So, it is nothing but say 1.03 is 1, 1 into 10 power 5 is 10 power 5, so 10 power 5 Newton by meter square. In 1 meter square area, if you take 1 meter square area, how much of force you are applying? 1 lakh Newton force, 1 lakh Newton, 1 lakh Newton force is how much? Let me tell you, 1 lakh Newton is how much? You know, 1 ton. 1 ton mass, 1 ton mass is nothing but 1000 kg, 1000 kg, 10 power 5, so let me write uh, 10 into 10 by m square. So what I am doing here, say a lorry has a mass of 1000 kg, 1000 kg I have written. Newton is nothing but force. Force 
weight both are same. So force formula, I can write mg. So g value is 10. So this is g 10. Mass is 1000 kg. And the water, what about is 10? That means it has 10 masses. 10 into 1000 kg. Suppose one uh, truck mass is 1000 kg. How many trucks I am taking? 10 trucks. Because 10 into 1000. 10 trucks mass into g which is force by meter square. So what it tells? It tells that in 1 meter square area 10 trucks of weight is acted is weight acted. So atmospheric pressure, now I am I'm, uh, in this uh, room, I am feeling the atmospheric pressure. If you go outside, you have the atmospheric pressure. So atmosphere is around us, means air is around us. This air is applying 1.03 in 10 for 5 pascals. That means this air is applying 10 trucks of force on your head. But are we feeling that force? No. If you imagine one truck if it is on us, we are no more. We cannot hold that much of weight. But he is showing 10 trucks of weight. But still, we are not feeling that atmospheric pressure. We are very happily walking, uh, walking and running and uh, doing our works. So what is happening here? I am saying atmospheric pressure is there. At the same time, I am saying that we are not feeling. So the answer is, if the person, if any person if you see and is around this person, the air molecules applying the atmospheric pressure. But actually what happening, the atmospheric pressure by the atmosphere is balanced by, is balanced by our blood pressure. So blood pressure has some pressure, some force per uh, unit area. So that is balancing the atmospheric pressure in the atmosphere one reason we can give other reason atmosphere pressure if you see the atmosphere particles in different directions all are in different directions so one directional pressure is balanced by other directional pressure so that net pressure is cancelled in that way also the atmospheric pressure is existing but net atmospheric pressure is zero that's the reason why even though this, this much amount of value I am showing here, but we are not experiencing. So one because of your blood pressure, or the other because of different directions of air molecules and cancel with each other. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.